If you haven't done very much figure drawing before, um, I'd suggest uh, beginning with maybe a, a comic book or illustrative approach. Um, a text I like to recommend is called Figure Drawing for All It's Worth by Andrew Loomis. And in this book, uh, there's just wonderful suggestions for thinking about the figure as sort of a mannequin that you can position however you want. You can learn some of the basic canons of proportion, and this gives you a mental framework on which you can hang more detailed information about anatomy. Once you get past that sort of understanding of, uh, of the human figure, and you're ready to start seeing a bit more details, um, then I'd recommend a book called Anatomy Lessons from the Great Masters, and this is a series of just written lectures put together by Robert Beverly Hale. He's a wonderful um, artist and art teacher. And in this book, there's great drawings to copy on one side, and then on the other, there are little labels for all of the specific parts of the anatomy that, uh, that the artist perceived and reproduced in his particular drawing. Um, so you can read through that and as you go, sort of learn a bit more um, about human anatomy. On a philosophical level, we sometimes wonder what is it about the human body that uh, makes it a fascinating subject that just transcends time. Uh, and, you know, part of that is uh, it's we're created in the image and likeness of God. And the beauty and elegance and dignity of the soul, I think, comes through in the human person. Um, um, historian Kenneth Clark wrote this wonderful book on the nude. And you can get an edition that's filled with just fantastic full-color images of um, the, the very, the most sublime works of art um, from antiquity to the present day um, that, uh, that capture the human figure.